I hate you. <laughs> I genuinely hate you. So it's proven 12 bars are worse than 20 bars. <laughs> That's it. Job done. Scientific <laughs> fact. <laughs> you know what I've had enough of? People telling me that they are a better shooter because they're shooting a 20 gauge. In my head nowadays, there's very little disadvantage. I wouldn't say so. So today we're going to go and shoot a round of clays, 50 sporting, score it, you with a little 20 gauge with an ounce load of whatevers, and me with my long fawn with 24 gram, whatever that is, 7 eighths ounce. I think that the only difference we will see is the natural difference that me and you have on a given day anyway. A handful of clays, the target that you get caught out on. First stand, five pairs, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, get in, son. I mean, if you couldn't hit that with a 20 gauge skeet gun, what could you do? <laughs> Job done. 10 out of 10. Well done. Breakfast, mate. That's breakfast. Mate, you know me. And uh, you ask me to put a big gap on something, I'll hit it. You ask me to shoot straight at <laughs> straight something. Straight easy targets. I can miss them oh, for fun, son. Baby. I hate you. <laughs> 12 bars are worse than 20 bars. <laughs> I'd like a, a fart rule do-over. <laughs> Come on, there'll be a big target. Which one of you was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's such a liar. Why does this always become like an endurance test? Some sort of childish endurance test. I think if you can't hit every target on a dead sitter without a little fart noise, mate, then, you know, then perhaps you're in the wrong game. It's been game. a long time since I've had a fart noise. It's been like rifle shooting when laughing. My whole body is going. <laughs> Nine out of ten, mate. Well done. I mean, you remember when you walked in there and you said, are we taking this seriously? I'm like, yeah, I'll take it seriously. Yeah, until somebody made a fart noise. Yeah. But it goes to show, it's only the difference between our usual clownery missing. Yeah, which was on. Un unacceptable. Very straightforward, close range sporting targets. So let's go give it a go on something that's maybe a little bit further away and let's I see mean, if that difference... That's a good start Yeah, for you. Let's well. go. All right, uh, let's shoot an A and a C out of here, two quartering right to left. Yep, one, one with report, five little pairs. power and one with lots of power. Interesting. Again, well within the capabilities of your gun, maybe not within the capabilities of my talent. <laughs> oh. Sorry, mate. No, no, I couldn't hear you, sorry. What? It was a genuine mistake. So I can afford to drop two. Oh, you can afford to drop three, technically. Hopefully, I don't drop that. Yeah, I dropped two there. That was an unacceptable thing. But as they say, who needs enemies with friends like these? True that. The good thing is about doing the fart noises around me, Sash, is that I'm 90% deaf anyway. So I don't generally hear it. And if I do, I just think I've sold myself due to my age. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> oh, I dropped one. Oh, I dropped two. <laughs> Even Steven's on that one, mate. I haven't stopped laughing since we started, but that's not necessarily a good thing when you're shooting sporting clays. No. And but so and far, inside of 30 yards, everything, zero difference. Should really find something that's beyond 30 yards. Well, let's just continue round and we'll... Uh, As a typical sporting layout, yeah? Yeah, yeah. A uh, pretty average, softish, killable sporting layout. We'll okay. find some hard bits in a minute. You made an interesting point on in the walk over here that it really doesn't make that much difference. An ounce of pellets going at 1,400 feet per second. Is an ounce of pellets going at 1,400 feet per second. And a choke is going to throw those pellets in a certain pattern. There's, you know, there's a lot of ballistic nonsense about shot column length that do make some marginal differences, but inherently, an ounce of pellets at 1,400 feet per second at the muzzle flying through the air in an average pattern. We'll do what an ounce of pellets does. <laughs> That's simple, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I mean, I. this is a skeet and skeet. I took it on beaters day this year. I shot some stuff that I didn't think it would be capable of pulling down. I also missed some stuff that it should have absolutely mullered. And I think that's the truth with any gun and any choke, isn't it? Yeah, any... And I don't think you're massively disadvantaged at skeet choke, just put more pellets in it. Yeah. I can miss both of them. That's a solid start. Slow it down, address it properly. It's amazing what you actually hit. Therein lies the problem with a 20 ball for glow shooting is you're down a pound and a half in weight. And as we all know, eight and a half to nine pounds is where these high end competition shooters are shooting weight wise. Yeah. And that's about seven pounds. It's a heavy 20, but 
Yeah, it still flicks about so short, short in the stock, short in the barrel, lightweight. Easy to flick about on the shorter stuff, on the bigger stuff you've got to control it actively think about it but that'd be the same as having a 26 inch side by side 12 bore that gun in your hands is basically the equivalent of this gun in mine <laughs> This is an interesting one because I have over the years sold many guns when I was working in the gun shop. There's a lot of people who go and shoot local shoots that have relatively compact layouts because of space requirements who think that big heavy guns are stupid. Yeah. And long guns and certain gun setups are stupid. And I think that what we found is the slightly simpler setup targets are more conducive to a lighter, whippier, more gamey gun. Yep. But as soon as we get onto something that requires a bit more technical control, control then you need something the longer bigger heavier guns come into the right yes and i think if if i was to shoot that with your maruk or my beretta not that it's a 12 ball would make any difference at all but i think the shape and size and handling of the gun if you strapped a load of barrel weights in there and shoved eight inches up the stock yeah you'd be probably just as good yeah and it was it's an interesting one i shot a 410 set up for competition a few well last year and that was interesting it weighed eight pounds and it shot just like a twelve ball. Just yeah. like a twelve ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could tell the difference other than there was no recoil and the cartridge bill was twice as much. <laughs> well that was always the trouble, wasn't it? That's that was always the trouble with the twenty balls as well. You know, I remember when I first started out I started with a twenty ball and it was always getting hold of 20 balls and the price difference between 20s and 12s. And the quality variance was yeah, massive, massive. Now, difference. a 20 ball shell is pound for pound identical to a 12. Yeah. yeah, 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 good as gold now, good as gold. But you've taken a bit of a lead now, mate. Thank God. Um, I don't think that's anything to do with the 20 ball. So how much is one of them, Johnny? Oh, interesting you should ask, because usually they're 649, but from May the 28th to the 31st, they're having a sale. 100 pounds off, two year warranty, 30 day trial period. So if you don't like it, you can send it back, but I pretty much guarantee you'll like it. I don't know anybody who doesn't like it who's ball. If you don't like it for clays, you like it for game, but you like it for your clays. It's such an invaluable tool. Oh, unbelievable. When we go back and look at the different styles and techniques you use, that is where you see the big difference. You can't tell in your head when you're doing it. Sometimes you do things wrong, it picks up on that. You can go back, digest it, change it. Yeah, and if you have a good day, you can go back and sit together and have a beer and go, hey. Look how good I am. I'm, I'm quite <laughs> talented. Go check them out, there's a link in the description. UK and US buyers get 100 off. That's pretty good going, I would say. And to be honest, it's the same product, the same warranty. This is the time to buy. Guys, check it out. Get it bought. Mate, let's go see if I can kick your ass in there. Am is I this first? too hard? Is that too stupid? How different the styles were from how we both shot the A tug and how we both shot the B tug with our different guns and then yeah. when we shot each other's and how even just that micro change in balance requires you to put a slightly different amount of effort in on every target. I think it's going to be the same here, this pair we've picked on this one. You've got one at the back there that's under power that you've got a, a limited space of time to kill because A's on the way and it's hitting the deck. And then you've almost got to punch straight into A and kill it before it hits the ground. I think, again, yours is going to be better for that longer target it's type of gun, not the fact that it's a 12 bore. And I think mine's going to be better for switching onto that for a quick poke at close range. Yeah. I think now with super light 12 bores and super heavy 20 bores, the caliber is just how much you want to go and tell your friends you're a sub gauge shooter. <laughs> I think it definitely comes with a badge that says, I shoot a 20 ball. Yeah, and then you get a bigger badge for when you shoot 28, and I do love a 20 and a 28, so I'm not saying anything against them, no. only that you're not disadvantaged ballistically. All right, uh, you ready for this? Uh, not really, not entirely, <coughs> but we will give it a go. You've got to be pretty sharpish out of that first shot, haven't you? You have, mate. That is a difficult pair, mate. Make sure that you can shoot the A first. I'm going to try it. I'm not going to do any worse, can I? You can have two shots at it, at least get one in the bank. <laughs> mate, I'd be proud to walk out of that on a four. That was a unfair set of targets. Let's see how you handle it with a big long gun, mate. Uh, before I take the shot cam off and not wanting to have undue advantage. Do you want to just shoot a few pairs and see what you're made of? What's that? Shoot With yours? the 12, see what happens, eh? Right, okay. I believe in you. Everyone can watch your glorious misses in 4K. <laughs> <laughs>
It doesn't lend itself to snapping around like that, that gun of yours, mate. But if I have confidence in any man, in any man on this planet, to be able to do that, it's you, buddy. Just leave the shot cam on, why not? Because if I do gloriously hit a pair, it'll be nice to document it and rub it in your face for the next week. Wouldn't it? That'd be lovely. Oh, kill. Oh, pair dead. He puts two in the bank. Oh, that took a lot. Yeah, but you do shoot a 12 ball, and I'm only using a little 20 ball. Give me a 20. <laughs> <laughs> I need a hero. That was easier with your gun. I'm holding out for a hero to the end of the night, Johnny, but you came here at lunchtime. Thank you so much, mate. Do you know, I just don't know what I'd do without you by my side sometime. You know. I mean, it's not going to take 12 balls. No. I was trying to say, that was so easy with your gun by comparison to that big stick. Well, look, sometimes not all heroes wear capes. Some of them wear likes and tweed, too. All right, I'm last stand then. I'm six Down up to on you. ten, you're six up. As long so, as you shoot four, there's no way I can beat you. Well, it could all happen. What's interesting is what I'd like to do now is take my shotgun and put it on yours, but my 20 gauge mount is stuck in America. <laughs> and we'll be back shortly, but that might be an interesting follow up to this film is can we level the playing field by making that fit, feel, and handle in a 12 bore fashion? Or perhaps we'll get a 20 bore sporting gun in. And I also think what we've proven from this would be that if you take it to the short, sharp, snappy targets, it rules the roost. It rules the roost. If you take it to the longer, more controlled, slower targets, that takes over. But like you say, the interesting thing to do would be to use a 26 inch 12 bore and perhaps a 32 inch Turn heavy. the tables. Exactly that. Well, there's a plan for a couple of months time, mate. Let's do it. Let's kill. Kill loss. <laughs> four. I'll take that four. So if I straight this, I could level the score. Well, mate, I would be proud of you. That first target is all about that 20 ball. I can't get through it fast enough. Oh, shot on that first target, mate. Got the first one. Kill loss. Kill kill. That was beautifully shot, mate. Thank Absolutely you, mate. Absolutely beautifully shot. Although you are a winner, the difference is, the difference is between me and you, a couple of clays. Yeah, and we've spent most of the time trying to trip each other up, so I'd <laughs> say I was happy with my score. Well done, <laughs> mate. In fact, you'd never see pairs like that or like that on a sporting course. They no. are a bit dumb. No, and we've pick, we have pairs. picked them to try and catch ourselves out and to test these guns for what they're good at. As we said before, these targets here are designed to be shot with something like that. The one over on the far compact designed lends to itself to that. With that. And again, all the pairs that we've chosen really have just been to put these through their paces. And to be fair, you've shot them exceptionally, mate. You too, shot mate. Them really well. You that even... one especially, that was impressive. That first target, you batted so quick. <laughs> but well, that's what it's made for, isn't it? It's short, it's nippy, it's a skeet choke. Fling it through, pull the trigger. 20 bar against 12 bar. I don't see any difference to you. You save weight in a 20 bar, you save frame size in a 20 bar. Yep. But you stick weights in a 20 bar and a longer barrel on it longer stock on it, you make it feel the same as a 12 bar, it'll shoot the same as they a 12 They are less bar. different than they've ever been. I would say so. And I think that's a decent enough conclusion to this video, don't you? The real conclusion is I need to hit this pair for shot cam. Guys, <laughs> stay <thanks> tuned. For <laughs> and next time we're gonna do this the other way around, super light 12 versus heavy 20 super bar. heavy 20. Thank you for watching guys. This channel is made possible by our amazing sponsors. You can find out more about them in the description down below. And if you wanna support the channel, you can join as a member. You get loads of extra content, well, some extra content, and occasionally we hook up and go clay shooting together as a membership group. If you don't feel like joining today, we really appreciate you watching and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.